In this video, we're going to show how to integrate the generic ASP version into an existing site. We've already imported the folders from the generic download, and these are our existing pages. We set up a page in a text file called assets.txt. These have the five ASP include lines we're going to put on into each of the pages. The last line changes depending which page you're setting up. These are the store pages we'll be making. And you can see they come from our help page, ecommerce templates.com slash help slash design dot ASP. You can copy and paste them from here, put them in a text file, and then it'll be easier to set up later. So back to Expression Web, the editor we're using here. This is the page we'll be using to start the design. The first thing we need to do is clear out some white space in the center of the page, as this is where the cart, the search, the products, etc., will appear. We'll put some four X's here so we can see in the code where the lines need to go. So swap into code view, you'll find that code there. Now back to the text file. We'll copy the five lines for the cart page. And now paste them where we set up those four X marks. We'll now save that page as cart.asp. That's the first page done. Now we go on to set up the other store pages. You'll notice here that there'll be a blank space in the center of the page as that's where the cart will appear once the database has been connected on the server. So save cart.asp as categories.asp as that's the next page we're setting up here. Find the five include lines that we just added and change the last one from inkcart.asp to inkcategories.asp. Save that and then move on to the next page which will be products.asp. Save products.asp and then change ink categories to ink products. Save that one. And the next one is proddetail.asp. This is the product detail page, which typically contains a larger image and a longer description of the product. Change ink products to ink prod detail. Careful with the two Ds in the center here. Save that. And then we'll set up the next page, which will be search.asp. Change pod detail.asp to search, ink search.asp. Save that. And the next one is sorry.asp. This is the page that customers arrive at after payment if there's been a problem with their order and they're prompted to continue shopping or try again. So we change that to ink sorry.asp, save it. And the last page we're setting up is thanks.asp. This is the successful order page, which contains an order summary, and again, the option to continue shopping if, if the customer wants to. So change ink sorry to ink thanks.asp. We'll save that. And those are the main store pages now set up. You can also set up pages like affiliate.asp, client login.asp, gift certificates, order status and tracking.asp if you need those pages on your store. If you have any questions about the setup, please do let us know.